Alright, hey guys, I'm Rose CCG back in a video with this room. We're going over the new gimmick puppet support. So, gimmick puppet hasn't gotten support in a really long time. I do hope that this new support will really help that deck out and make it a lot more consistent while also making it more fun to play with and kind of stands up with the test of time here. So, if this card is normal spun, so here we have a gimmick puppet little soldiers. It's a low four dark machine effect monster. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one gimmick monster with a different level for your deck to the grave. This card's level becomes that sent monster. So that's great, we got an easy level modulation. There are plenty of level 8 monsters in the deck that you can pitch in order to level modulate this, get it to an 8, makes it easier to rank, uh, go into the XCs. And then you can banish this card from your grave, then target up to 2 gimmick monsters you control, increase their levels by 4 until the end of the turn. So also this just kind of helps, there's plenty of level 4 monsters on the, on the in the deck, so you can use that, just make it easier to go into the rank 8s. And here we have a new rank 8, so this is Gimmick Puppet Bloody Doll. So here it's a level 8 Dark Machine Effect Monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn, and you cannot special monsters from the extra deck the turn you activate either of these card's effects, except for Gimmick Puppet Monsters. So this is going to lock you straight into Gimmick Puppet, so this should be a good effect. So if this card is in your hand, you can reveal Gimmick Puppet Exceed Monster in your extra deck, special on both one Gimmick Puppet Monster from your deck with the level equal to the extra deck monster's rank, and this card. So that's great because you're going to be able to just get it out. This this is pretty good because it's just going to make it super easy to get out of rank 8. And also means that you don't have to use up your normal summon. So pretty solid. And uh, I can see why it's going to lock you into that just so you don't go into some generic rank 8. And this card is sent to the graveyard except from the hand. You can add it to your hand. Uh, so that's great. Even that is going to give you a lot of value. So you can just continuous, continuously use this in different turns just to get out multiple rank 8s. So honestly, a pretty decent card. And here we have Gimmick Puppet Cattle Scream, which looks pretty cool. I'm really liking the art for this one. It looks like a bull and some puppet in the in the nose here is using a uh, some sort of like horn. But here it's uh, level 8 Dark Machine Effect Monster, so another level 8. You can attach one Exceed Monster from your monster, special on this card for your hand or grave, but banish when it leaves the field. So even something like this is pretty simple effect, but it's going to make it easy for you to get it out and easier to just get these ranks eight, rank 8s out. And a gimmick puppet exceed monster that has this card's material gains its effect. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to their field in defense position. So this is going to give your opponent a monster. I'm assuming the gimmick puppet has an effect or something that kind of resonates with this or makes it uh, better like when your opponent has a monster. So for that reason, it's going to be adding it. But besides that, you are able to get this out just by detaching material. And just like Raider's Wing, it's going to make it an extender. And here, this is a new rank A gimmick puppet monster. It looks pretty cool. This is gimmick puppet Fanta 6 uh, Machina. So it's a rank A dark machine exceeds effect monster with 1500 attack, 3100 defense. So you're probably going to usually summon this in the fence. It requires two level 8 monsters. You can attach one material from this card, add one rank of magic spell from your deck to your hand. Also, during your main phase's turn, you can normal summon one machine monster in addition to your normal summon slash set. So that's great because it's going to give you an instant searcher into the rank up magic spells for the deck because that's how you go into your rank 9s. And uh, not only that, getting the extra normal summon here really makes it so that you don't get completely uh, locked out of your deck if somebody negates the summon or negates the card and you can still extend. So they're definitely adding a lot of ways to kind of extend here and continue your plays. And uh, that's always good to see, especially for a deck like this. So if you special summon a gimmick puppet exceed monster, you can social summon this card from your graveyard to either field and defense position. Then you can add one rank of magic spell from your grave to your hand. So e even better, you can get this out. And there's also another rank of magic spell searcher. Uh, honestly, pretty good. Like a little monster to get out here as a rank 8. We're going to see what this goes into for the rank 9. Chaos, so or the CXYZ gimmick puppet fanatex machina. It's a rank 9 Dark Machine Effect monster, so it's attack and defense here seem to be flip. Requires 3 level 9 monsters. Uh, if this card is special summon, you can add 1 Puppet Trap for your deck to your hand. So another searcher for the deck. You can attach 1 material from this card, special summon 1 monster from either graveyard to your opponent's field in defense position. Okay, but just like the other effect, uh, 2 effects here that are actually able to get something out on your opponent's side of the field. And if a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, you can target one of them and destroy it. And if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its original attack, so it looks great. You're going to be able to do some burn damage here. And uh, depending on what monster your opponent has, that can be pretty solid. No negates yet. So hopefully there is going to be a way to just set up a pretty solid negate or something uh, to be disruptive for your opponent. But otherwise, this could be pretty good if you're going second and you can clear your opponent's board, get it out and just burn, do some burn damage here. And here we have the field spell. This is Mansion of the Underworld Dolls. It, it, it's a field spell, of course. When this card resolves, you can add one gimmick puppet monster for your deck to your hand. Really good searcher. It's going to make it 
a lot more consistent. You know, we've already seen a lot of monsters here, or at least like two monsters that we're able to just get out in order to stand, even if your opponent happens to negate your first summon or something, then you can still get them out. And gimmick puppet monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, they are unaffected by your opponent's activated non-exceed monster effects. So this is really good as well. It just it's gonna make a lot of your basically like your gimmick puppet monsters and kind of into towers a bit. Um, of course, they can still be affected by spells and traps, but being unaffected by activator effects is really solid. Of course, it's for non exceeds, but if you can prevent your opponent from even going on into exceed monsters, that can be pretty great as well. And uh, pretty good for the field spell. And then once per turn, you can attach one exceed ma material for your monster and target one gimmick puppet monster in your grave, special limited to your opponent's field in the defense position. So great, another way to get a monster out on your opponent's side of the field. And then here we have the final card. So this is Serviced Puppet. It's a normal trap card. Target monsters your opponent control up to a number of gimmick puppet exceed monsters you control and take control of them until the end phase. So it looks like you can use something like the field spell or the exceed monster. Get monsters out on your opponent's side of the board and then take control of them. And if you control a gimmick puppet exceed monster except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your grave, then target one exceed monster in either graveyard and special summon it to either field in the defense position. So again, another way of just kind of getting a monster out here. And there is like that rank eight that I know that has been used even outside of gimmick puppet that does burn damage for each like uh, gimmick puppet monster your opponent has that you destroy. So this could resonate really well with cards like that. But let me know what you guys think about the new support. I think it's interesting. I don't know if it's going to be enough to really get the deck like out of like the breaky state that it's in. But it's definitely going to help the deck and make it a lot more usable. But let me know what you guys think and make sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.